Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Afi's world, where it's not just my world, it's your world, and for the most part, it's God's world. So stay blessed and don't be stressed. So if it's your first time here, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to put your post notifications on and put that bell on so that every time I upload a video, you'll be notified. So today is Thursday. That's Gabriel in the background. Mm -hmm. So I am making um, some chicken. I already cleaned it, cut it up, cleaned it up. So I'm gonna season it. I'm gonna make some, like I said, I'm gonna make some barbecue chicken with a little bit of a twist. So I got Vidalia vinaigrette. It is a marinated sauce and a veggie dip. And I'm going to mix that with barbecue sauce, a little bit of drink sauce, and you know, my ginger, and some lime. I got one lime here. I'm not gonna do too much because you know lime can kill your food. So I'm gonna try that out. And I was lazy today. I said, I don't feel like going to the store and getting no foil tin. So I got my good old roaster. I'm gonna use my roaster to roast my chicken. My good old roaster. So I hope everybody's having a great Thursday. I am having a good day. Thursday. I got a lot of stuff done today. I'm proud of myself. So let's get into it. It's gonna be, I hope it's not too long because you know, chicken, chicken takes about an hour or two hours to cook. That's just done on that. So, no, you're not gonna get an hour long video. I'm just telling you that chicken takes my chicken, chicken quarters, they take about two hours to cook. Okay? So, I'm gonna season it up. today so he's on 10 but anyway we're gonna get into the um into the chicken like, like I said before I hope everybody's having a great Thursday a productive Thursday because it's nothing like going the whole day and be like dang I ain't nothing done like even if you do like go to work and you come home you're like dang it's four o'clock I just been at work all day I can do this I can do this I can do this yeah so that's 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 I'm glad I got a lot done today. Okay? So we're gonna start with the seasoning and y'all know my good old I gotta get a bigger one. I have to go actually I think um I'm good for the next week and a half, but I'm definitely gonna go um um seasoning shopping. So that's why I get my big um my big gay run stop. I get my <laughs> <laughs> I get my big garlic, powdered garlic, my big powdered onion, and um, yeah, a lot of my big seasonings in bulk, and then I put it in my small containers, so I don't have to worry about going back every, you know, couple of months, you know, saves me some time. I'm just gonna season up. So yeah, how did you guys like the last vlog that I did? Trust and believe, but I'm like, people probably gonna think I don't have nothing in my fridge. Like, I have milk, I have a lot of stuff <laughs> um, that I already have on hand. That's why I said I do my list. I think next time around, I do have to get milk and stuff like that um, for the house, for the kids, but for right now, I'm okay. I try to stock up on those things way prior to. So, if I'm missing a milk, right now I have like, I have like two so so I would say one gallon of milk lasts me about a week so I still have enough for two weeks just in case so yeah it may seem that way and also also guys I um I don't really buy bottles of water two reasons is it two I think it's two two reasons one if I get bottled water in this house I've done it before they drink water, and what happened? They sit it down and forget about it. So I say, no, no, not in my cabinet. You're not doing it, no, you're not. So, I buy the filter, the Brita filter, I'm gonna show you guys in a second. I buy the Brita filter, and I have the Brita gallon, the, um, the container from when I was at my old house, 
and I put it in, so I'm sorry, that was garlic powder, and now this is onion powder. So yes, I put it in, um, I have the container, the British container that I fill up with water. I'm, I think it's like two gallons or so, and I use that. And also my refrigerator has a filter on it, so I use that. So I don't really use, I don't buy bottled water, because it saves me money. I ain't gonna lie, the one, the Brita, um, I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna wash my hands. I'm gonna show you guys. Stop fighting. So I, I buy this. I buy this, and see it says filter last two months, forty gallons. So, and then in the fine print, I don't know if you can see, it says approximately. What does it say? Approximate timing based on forty gallon filter life, and average family usage of eleven gallons per day. So if y'all think, oh well, she don't drink a lot of water, I can still drink. 11 gallons a day and still be able to benefit from this now the only thing i would say i would i would have wanted from this is um i wanted alkaline water but um i think i'm only going to do it in the same time with alex because that's when he really depletes a lot of water but um as of for now i've been using this and i like it i use one every two months and i'm telling you it saves. It saves. So anybody, I mean, you do an estimate of okay. Let's say you buy a case of water. Let's just say the basic water, the, the regular, regular, regular water, right? And I'm gonna cut these in half to be honest with you. And um, yeah, you buy the regular water, and you buy it for let's just say. Hmm. You buy it for about three dollars a case, twenty-four pack, right? All right. So you go to the store, you buy a twenty-four pack case of water every two weeks. Let's just say. So if you do the math of how much money you spend on water for six months, you'll save with this filter. I mean, I think. Because if you're, if you're a person that drinks eight glasses of water a day, and then I also, guys, I don't really drink soda, and I don't drink all those sweet juices, I'll buy them. I'm not against them. I will buy them sometimes. But um, like how I buy the naked juice, they are sweet. We just dilute it. But we're not huge fans. We'll just make juice. We'll buy pulp, and we'll just mix it up with water, Kool-Aid, mixed juice, and that's just it. Um, and that's just what we've liked for a while. <laughs> Like, the mayor's not, the mayor's, I'm lucky I don't got fussy kids. Like, the mayor be like, mom, whatever. Like, he doesn't care. And then we don't like the fact that sometimes these juices are so sweet. Alex hates it, he's like, this juice is sweet. And he be having to dilute it anyway. So, um, that's just how we live. So, um, that's why a lot of stuff that you see in our meal prep is different because, I mean, in our meal grocery haul or something like that, it's, it's not that we don't, it's not that we can't afford it, it's just that something that we just don't like. So, that's just, that's just that. So, I will drink juice, like if I go to a friend's house, oh yeah, I'm gonna drink some juice. I'm gonna drink it. But to say every day, I rather mix my juice and control the sugar, or I just dilute it, and that's just it. So, what I'm gonna do now, is I'm gonna put my chicken in my pan. I made some chicken earlier, that's what you see over here. I ain't gonna line it or nothing, I'm just gonna put it in here. Let's see. Put the quarters on one side, the legs on another side. Yeah, so that's why my hauls be like, what? Like, what is she surviving off of? Like, are you serious? She must be broke. No. <laughs> I just live a little different from some people. But I still eat a lot. Like, I still eat a lot of food. Like, I still eat a lot. I just don't eat certain stuff. So all these juices that I have left in here, of course, I'm going to use that for my sauce. 
So this is gonna go in the oven like this. I just seasoned it up, basic seasoning. And I'm gonna put, I just want it to get cooked. And then I'm gonna put my seasoning, like my onion and stuff in here, and then put it on top of it once it start cooking, okay? So I am covering it, I'm covering it. Just in case y'all want to you know, cover it so that it can steam up nice and cook. And in about one hour, yes, one hour. Y'all not gonna see me for one whole hour on this vlog, but I'm just telling you, in one hour. So don't be like, oh well, it took this one. No, it takes you a while to cook your shit. <laughs> So yeah, it's gonna take your meal. I cook my chicken till it's cooked. Put it in the oven. I have it on high though. It's at 390 degrees because I need this chicken to cook. So it's at 390. I'm gonna put it in. I'm gonna cook it. Put my um, oven on. Timer for one hour. So it's gonna cook for one hour. And we're gonna make a sauce in the meantime. So I get my onions, my board, and my knife and come right back. Oh, yep. So I have all my stuff. I have my onion, I have my scallion, I have my thyme. No green peppers today. No bell peppers today. Medium. Yeah. 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 Give me a run for my money, but God knows I love this boy. <laughs> he be giving me a run for my money, but whew, he's a sweet little boy though. Little toddler. Can't believe he's two. Like, he's tiny. Oh, he's tiny. Tiny just be flying. Like, he's two. Like, he's just so cute. Like, he's so cute. Like, he's so cute. Like, he's so cute. I remember when I was going to the hospital with him. No breaks. And now he's two years old. That's why you gotta, I ain't gonna lie, you gotta cherish life. The moments you have, cherish them. You don't cherish them, they gonna fly. They're gonna fly. Fly past you. Cherish the moments. Same thing with the mirror though, like, the mirror is about to be mine this year. I'm just like, where? Like, are you serious? Like, we were just going apple picking and corn picking. Like, oh, I just don't understand. This time is moving so fast. And I'm just getting old, old hag, old bag. As my, aunt, my cousin uncle will say, yeah, old bag. I'm like, yeah, I'm getting to be a comma old bag. <laughs> Okay, though, and it's funny because I like I just like different stuff now. I mean, I've always kind of liked different stuff, but I don't know. Now I'm like into like I will, I just can't wait till summertime. Get hot, I can cook outside, have barbecues with my family, you know, stuff like that. Go out, entertain, have fun. I also need a date night, because I also haven't been out in so freaking long. I think the last time we know, we went out after his birthday. But like, out, out, I have not been out. My little time that I have here. I'll rinse off real quick. Time. So, I'm gonna show you guys. 
because y'all probably can't see. Like, what the heck is she doing? I can't see nothing she's doing. All right, this is what I'm doing. <laughs> Scallion, onion, and thyme. I'll clean up my boy real quick. Okay. Yeah, I need another life. We need a date night. <laughs> but it's okay. I know we can't do it right now because we're in work mode. You hear that? Baby mode. Everything. I'll be patient. I'm patient. I'm patient. Right, baby? Say, mommy, be patient. Be patient with me. Baby in the background. Yeah. This lime ain't got no juice. As much as I freaking rolled it, rolled it, rolled it, got no juice. It's all good. I'm gonna use it to rub off, rub my sink <laughs> and my board. I, I I've been forgetting that I can use the the lime to cut to um one to clean the knife. Clean off the knife. Put on this and my cutting board. I'll leave that right there. Oh. I'm done. Yes, time. Time, time, time. Alright, so we're gonna MacGyver this sauce, okay guys? <laughs> we're gonna MacGyver this sauce. We are gonna MacGyver this sauce. Excuse me. If it was me, I would have put them up. I'm trying to get. Why would you like to the sauce? You know, some people like purple. Yeah, I'm not. Ginger, I can all be on. Why would you sauce? Because you like purple. Are we going to empty this out into here? The whole thing. Whole barbecue sauce in it. Put a little water. I want every inch. All right, Gabe. Okay, baby. All right, you're going to the overboard now, babe. Okay. They hear you. All right. Because <laughs> I'm not good at measuring. <laughs> that good. All right. One, two, three. Count when, when, you, when you're pouring, just count. <laughs> I'm going to put some sugar in here and that's it. All right, Gabriel. So what I usually do is once the chicken spring its water, I put it in here for the juice, the flavors, the fats, everything that was cooking in there, I put it in here. Then obviously me just put it back on the on there. I just wanted to give it that thickness, or I just poured it on top of it and just you know base it on it. But that's about it. Let me taste it. Oh that's about it. I can probably put, <clears throat> you know what? I'm gonna put a little bit more to jerk, but I don't uh -uh. No, ma'am. <laughs> no, no, ma'am. So I'm gonna put a little bit of brown sugar, my brown sugar, in there. A little bit. And that's it. So once the hour is up with the chicken, this is what I'm gonna use to just pour it on top. 
guys i wasn't trying to stay over the pot today that's one of the reasons why you see i put it in the oven i just want to get stuff done and not all the time i want to be over the, over the stove yesterday guys let me tell y'all let me tell y'all what i did yesterday okay. yesterday um but never, i didn't cook but um i made some quick 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 fried rice like i literally just fried some egg put it inside and i had some rice that was left over and i needed the um so I obviously I have I have two rice cookers, a small one and a large one. One that holds four cups and one that holds ten cups. So the second one that's a ten cup also is a slow cooker. I got it as a housewoman present. So I needed the the bigger one to do my slow cooking because the man said he wanted um I was gonna make him Meatballs, I said, you know what, let me just make him some ground turkey and some Mexican rice for lunch to today. So, it was either meatballs or that. But I had all the ingredients, so that was already in my meal prep. So, I said, you know, all right, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make the fried rice by taking out the rice out of the 10 cups, 10, 10, 10 cup container, because I need it for the slow cooker. And I'm going to make a fried rice. So I made a fried rice at the same time I was cooking my Mexican rice on my four, my four um, cup rice cooker. Then I had, I mixed up some, I had my ground turkey thawed out. So I put the ground turkey, I chopped up some um, bell peppers, some yellow and orange bell peppers with some scallions with a, with a scissors. And then I seasoned up my um, ground turkey with some onion. <laughs> Garlic, uh, garlic onion, onion powder, garlic powder, and some Montreal steak seasoning. And I put it on number six so it can cook. When I tell you guys, I killed two birds with one stone. I cooked that Mexican rice with that ground turkey. Ground turkey, ground turkey came out good. I just, um, I crumble it up, put it right there with the, with the rice. I'm gonna show you guys. It's frozen. I mean, not frozen. It's, um, you probably can't even see, but this is what I made. That's what I made, because that's what Demir said. said. I was going to talk about how you feel about this. Like, mine. that's fine. It's basically rice and hammer that apple. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, um, and then when he went to the he was like, Ma, it was good. It was amazing. He be exaggerating. He's telling you. So, yeah. I did that and then I made my fried rice to compliment dinner for last night. And I was like, wow, I'm gonna do some more slow cooking. Cause when I made my um cold foot, that's how I made my cold foot. I put it in my slow cooker for like hours. And then by the time filling time was was around, it was there. So I don't I don't own a pressure cooker. The pre I thought it well, let me say this. I got a pressure cooker as a gift. The four-in-one that y'all see the ninja, but I realized that it doesn't pressure well. So I don't know what I have to do if I have to replace it or if there's something wrong. But yeah. Oh, it's playing. You okay? So um yeah. Back to the food. So when it hits the hour, I'll come back with you guys and show you guys. All right? So I added the mixture that we had onto the chicken. It still look a little bit naked, <laughs> but I'm gonna let it cook to y'all. The, the blood is basically out. See the chicken? So it's gonna sit there and it's gonna cook to get its color. And that's it, guys. Don't look bad. Just have to cook up some water. So I'm just gonna make some regular steam carrots, nothing special, just some salt in the water and carrots. So this is what the chicken looks like. It's fully cooked, it's been cooking for about two hours. <sighs> looks good, I got a little color on it, I put it under the broiler. I didn't want it to get too color, and then I didn't want the gravy to, you know, cook out. So I said, you know, I'll stop at where I'm at. Looks like guys, ready to play.